I want to give you some tips on selecting threads so you don't have to buy every single color in four cones of thread. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and we are working through all the short video tutorials on the Husqvarna Viking Amber Air S600. So I hope you'll check out our entire playlist. There's over 40 videos to learn and master this machine. It is both a cover stitch machine and a serger, kind of all in one. Now this is a question people ask me in class all the time. Sarah, do I need to buy four spools of yellow and four spools of blue if I'm working on blue fabric? Well, not necessarily. So here is how I would explain it. Number one, you are going to need four dark colors. Now I say dark colors because they don't all have to be black. You could kind of move around the dark color wheel. So you could have a navy or a chocolate brown or a charcoal gray and a black. Here's why you might like to have different darks because it's really whatever is on the outside needle. So for example, the yellow is currently in our outside needle because we have color coded our videos so you can see which thread is going where. But the outside needle is the color you're going to see when you open it up. So if I open this up really, um, you know, with a good pull, I see yellow thread. Now, if I am going to be working on a very specific color of fabric, do you know you can actually use a small spool of thread? So often I'll reach to my sewing machine threads, or if you're an embroiderer, sometimes I'll reach for my embroidery thread, and then just put that on that outside needle for the perfect match. So what do we do for the rest? You could have if you're a quilter, you know you love grays and ecrus. Creams are great, so neutral colors go great on lots of different fabrics. And then again, you could easily match that outside needle if it's very specific. Uh, so that's one thing that you could do. Again, those four darks, you can just rotate around. You have navy on, so put the navy on the outside needle and then the rest on any random locations. But I will have to say you do need four whites for sure, because white is best on white fabric. If you are noticing, it, you, you really will see like a, a shadow through if you use a cream or a gray when you stitch on white fabric. So I'm a fan of four whites, four darks, and four neutrals. And let your smaller spools kind of be that one that you put where they need to be actually seen. There are, is a time and place where you might prefer to have all the colors matching, especially if your seams are going to be seen. Maybe the item is not lined, so you're going to see both the front and back or front and inside of the item. That's a great idea. If you're doing anything that's going to be judged, like through 4-H, I'd match all those threads for sure. But again, if you do not have or want to buy four spools of thread or four cones, one thing you can do is buy two cones and then wind two bobbins. Put the bobbins on the needles, if you're doing two needles. If you're only doing a three thread, you could do one bobbin for your needle of choice. And that would also save you a lot of buying an extra spool, maybe of a real specific color that might not be something you're gonna use a lot in the future. So keep in mind, just wind, speaking of bobbins, just wind those bobbins on your sewing machine, put those on the back here and use them in your needle positions. They don't take up a lot of thread but hopefully that will give you some tips for buying the right amount of threads, especially when you're getting started, so you know how to choose threads going forward. And honestly, there's many a times because my serger will have the four colors of thread on from a classroom situation. I'll have just done just that. On the inside of pillowcases, a lot of times there's some colorful insides. And that's just actually kind of fun and easy and your machine is always set up and ready to serve. Check out all of our videos, including which craftsy classes we recommend for learning more about using your cover stitch and your serger for even more uses than you ever thought possible.